The girl was dressed in a revealing outfit. She's shaking her proud body. In this pink atmosphere, the viewers of the live stream are offering monetary rewards. Lola continues to tease the audience with her words. If someone gives her more money, she would do even more dramatic performances. So she took out some familiar props from the box. Lola asked the audience to vote for the style. Each tool has its own price. Of course, the excited audience was eager to pay for her. At that moment, a fan asked Lola to cut herself with a knife. Such an unreasonable request was rejected by Lola. Lola rejected it and blacklisted the fan. But she didn't realize that the fan soon changed his account. He continued to send provocative words on the screen, saying that blacklisting was useless to him. This fan continued to provoke Lola with his words. He even increased his reward amount. And this made Lola's rankings rise. He wanted to see Lola hurting herself, seeing the blood flowing from her body. This message made Lola's expression become grave. Next, other visitors to the room followed suit. They began to leave frequent messages and offered high rewards. Lola was faced with the temptation of money. She grabbed a knife. The audience got even more excited. They were swarming with suggestions. Lola to perform self-harm. At this point, the rankings of the broadcast room got even higher. Lola looked at the compulsion. She took a sharp knife and slashed her throat. Lola's aorta was pierced. Blood spurted out of her neck. Lola died in a flash. It's ridiculous. No one in the live broadcast cared about Lola's death. Instead, they were more active in rewarding her. But the dead Lola suddenly raised her head. She tore open the blood bag on her neck. It turned out that it was just a joke she was playing. And that extreme audience was just one of her fans, Tinker. The suicide show was planned by the two of them. After the live broadcast, Lola was satisfied with the results of her hard work. The ranking and fame of her account had really increased. And Lola's biggest dream is to reach the top 50 on the whole site. In order to catch up with her performance, she began to watch and learn from other anchors. She realized that the number one anchor on the site, Baby, didn't have to do anything at all. Baby was just lying on her bed chatting with her fans. She could easily earn a reward. Lola turned on another person's stream. That person was her rival, Lynn. Lynn is seen flirting with the camera, and she's telling her fans that if Lola's ranking fell below 70, Lynn would take off her clothes one by one. The fans on the site were actually paying for it, and this caused Lola's ranking to plummet. Lola immediately shut down her computer in anger. She had to find a way to win back her audience. So Lola contacted her friend Fox. She asked for a joint performance with Fox. The two of them could use the live club's orgasm machine. But this machine can cause serious damage to the body. It can even cause unconsciousness in the lower body. But Lola wanted to do it for her career. She had to do whatever it took. Lola drove straight to the club. She's going to do a public performance with Fox. They are sitting on a horse riding machine. With one last gasp. Lola made it to 47th place. But when Lola woke up the next day, she couldn't log into her account. What's even more bizarre? Lola's account was being streamed live by someone exactly like her. A sexy woman on the screen was engaging in a sexy pool play. This woman is just a woman who looks exactly like Lola. The real owner of the account is now looking at all this with confusion. Where the hell did this imposter come from? Lola thinks someone must have stolen her account. So she called customer service to complain. But customer service said the user was fine. They denied Lola's request to freeze her account. Lola had to find a solution. She spoke on the air as a tourist, saying she was the real Lola. But the next moment, Lola was banned by the administrators. So she registered a new account. In the room, she mimicked the speech of a regular fan. Lola asked who the other person was. But what's amazing is that the fake Lola. The fake Lola actually said something welcoming. It sounded exactly like Lola's voice. Lola just turned off the broadcast. She was confused. Lola broke down and tried to get help from her previous fans. Barney has a lot of connections in the live streaming community. The two of them were supposed to meet at a restaurant in the evening. But Barney realized that Lola was actually on the air right now. He thought that Lola was pretending to be him. So Barney was furious and caught Lola. He gave Lola a good beating. Luckily, Lola escaped. Back at home, Lola found the imposter on the air again, broadcasting a jaw-dropping performance. But the audience was buying it. The amount of reward has increased several times compared to the previous one, and the rankings were sky high. Lola was not happy about this. Her account was stolen. She couldn't get the money she had earned before, and the goal that she has been striving for a long time was easily achieved by a mere imposter. Soon Lola's fame grew. She received an offer to work with another headliner. The two of them will join forces to perform as a duo. Fans were very excited about it. So Lola became curious about this baby. She googled baby's information. But she found out that Baby had died in a car accident months ago. Lola was horrified to see the fake Baby on the air. They were discussing going into Lola's room, with pictures of her relatives in their hands. Lola was terrified. 
Lola watched in horror as they approached her bedroom. When they didn't stop, Lola immediately rushed to the door of her room, screaming, and told them not to come in. Although nothing happened in the end, Lola was too scared to call the police. After watching Lola's sexually explicit broadcast, they thought that Lola wasn't a good person either. This is just a farce to get attention among the anchor circle, so the police simply ignored it. If someone looks exactly like you, steal your identity, takes away your stuff, and broadcasts live on the internet in a large scale, would it give you the creeps? Lola's life was completely disrupted by an imposter, but no one believed it was fake. Whether it's a fan, a cop, friend, or even a family member, they all agreed that Lola was the fraud. Lola had no choice but to come to Tinker's house, because he was the only one who wanted to believe that Lola was real. Tinker reassured her that he would help find the truth behind the story. He asked Lola to stay at his place for a while. At night, Lola was woken up by a gasping sound. She searched for the sound and went to the toilet. She found that Tinker was video interacting with the fake Lola. Lola was furious. She thought Tinker was a traitor. So Lola tasered him. Tinker explained that he had realized that many of the female anchors had been replaced. He thought it was the work of a mysterious organization. And the only reason he was willing to take Lola in, he only wanted to have sex with her. When she found out the truth, Lola was furious and went to the toilet and tried to confront the imposter. But the imposter couldn't tell that their faces were identical. She asked Lola if she was Tinker's girlfriend. Lola realized right away that this replica of her audience interaction was just an AI-generated image. So Lola had a plan. She went home and set up everything, and then she spends a huge amount of money on the fake Lola on her newly registered account. Then she requested a video with the fake Lola. The video starts with the two Lolas having a formal face-to-face -face conversation. At this point, the viewers were baffled. They thought they were real twins, or it was a new special effect developed by the live streaming platform. But Lola didn't care. She asked to play a game with the fake Lola. The rule of the game is to imitate each other's behavior. Viewers can choose a winner between them. The loser has to agree to one of the other's demands. Lola planned to use her previous self-inflicted injuries to stir up the audience's emotions and also to reveal the fake AI. So Lola smashed her head into the table. The real Lola's nose immediately bleeds. But the fake Lola did as she was told and didn't get hurt instead. It was only after a strange mosaic appeared. But the audience still thought it was a platform effect. So Lola continued to do whatever she could to hurt herself. The heat of the broadcast went straight to number three. In the end, Lola won the hearts of her fans. She became the victor. Lola demanded the fake Lola to give up her account password. This time Lola chose to cancel the user. I thought she was finally saying goodbye to this messy circle. But in the end, Lola had a makeover at her mother's beauty store. She re-entered the live streaming site with a brand new identity. In this era of Netflix, in order to win the audience's attention, they always take a different approach. They are willing to do a lot of behavior that breaks the boundaries of human cognition. Is this the value of life that we should pursue?